I went to the beach one day. I have psoriasis. Look at my face. You see that? I really didn't expect her to leave me this early in life. And she was like my motivation to all my success in my career and I'm probably going to start crying so highlight of my my day every day is taking out the trash I took a shower combed my hair just to take out the trash nothing else to do so half the day is you know has almost gone I've been doing laundry did I make breakfast I ate cereal for breakfast I was trying to do an ASMR but ugh, I can't believe people actually get views off of that video so disgusting check out mine I figured I'll do like a life update today. I haven't posted videos in a long time. And a lot has happened. So, this is my true self. My face is a mess. Um, I recently had to go back home because my mom passed away unexpectedly. And, um,. I went to the beach one day. I have psoriasis. Look at my face. You see that? This is why I don't really do a lot of vlogs and I don't really have my face in the camera because like, I could have a breakout in episode at any time and my, sh my face looks like total shit. It's like dry. I usually get like a patch here, a patch here. Like I started getting pat. Honestly, I used to get just like one patch. And then when I went to Aruba and when I started working out in like the national capital region, like. Like my, my skin just started to just explode and then I got diagnosed with psoriasis. But anyways, um, so I get patches like on my forehead. I have one patch here. I always used to get a patch like on my chin for years and then I started getting patches. So I look like crap, but it's okay because, you know, I flat ironed my hair Thursday night. I was up all night because I wanted to trim my hair. I usually trim my hair myself. So it doesn't look silky because I don't really flat iron my hair so it could be worn out i just do it just to tame my natural hair because it's more difficult to manage i record so many videos and i don't ever post it i probably post one percent of what i usually record but it's okay because it's not like i'm trying to get famous off of youtube you know, I just was recently thinking, I'm so happy that I pursued YouTube because it gave me an opportunity to take videos of my mom. Um, which I now have as a memory because I really didn't expect her to leave me 
this early in life. And then it's not early because I will be 40 next month. She was 64. She was going to make 65 um, in October. So... Yeah, so it's really no purpose to this video. Um, hopefully I post it. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. But comment down below and let me know how everybody's dealing with this um, pandemic. So I work from home, which is a good thing because I'm like crying constantly when I think about her. So, I'm kind of getting used to working from home. I really never really liked, I never really liked the concept of teleworking because I feel like um, I would be in the refrigerator constantly and I wouldn't be able to control myself in terms of like eating snacks. When I go to work, you know, whatever snacks I, I, I take to work, that's what I I eat. I look like shit. So I have some aloe vera from when, and it's turning brown. We went to Aruba. I smuggled some aloe. Maybe this isn't from Aruba. I don't remember. No, because I think from Aruba, I had put it in like some small containers like this. This might be something else. So anyway, um... There's a lot of medication and stuff that they give you to deal with like psoriasis, but um, you can only like apply it for so long and then it's like a lot of side effects. So I just, when my face breaks out, I just leave it. Um, I try to moisturize it. So I'm going to just put some um, aloe juice on my face um, to get rid of these like dry it's really just really dry um and it's moisturizer is really important so what else what else is going on yeah traveling during these times are very um it's like so empty nobody it should be here. almost impossible to get through here it's how empty the airport is Hardly anybody in TSA. I would say frustrating because the flights, um, I had two flights that I had booked when I was going down. I had American Airlines and then I had JetBlue. JetBlue got me there. I literally was like 10 people on the flight. I left out of Raleigh-Durham Airport and connected in, I think it was Fort Lauderdale. Um, is it Fort Lauderdale? Well, one of those Florida airports. And then from there, I connected in San Juan. I was there for like maybe an hour or maybe less than an hour. And then from San Juan airport, I went to St. Thomas. Um, it was literally, the airports were empty. I have a few clips that I'll share. But, um, it's literally like, it's probably a little more, maybe 10 or 15 people that was on the plane. Um, I, I was down there for about 19 days. My mom got buried on April 16th. I left on April 1st. Um, she passed away March 28th. So um, it took a while for us to get everything together in terms of like scheduling. Oh, my face is itchy. It's so itchy. Um, I've never had to bury anyone before and I was kind of lost in 
everything, but my aunt passed away last year. Um, so that was different. I mean, I was really sad, but, you know, she was struggling with, um, she was a diabetic. So, you know, we, we knew she had, you know, issues for years. So it wasn't like a shocking death, um, as like my mom, because I spoke to my mom that Friday, that Friday night. So when i called her that saturday i mean we speak every day oh. so the dry skin is coming off yeah that's disgusting and it's so freaking itchy and you probably shouldn't itch it but um one of the things that i did which is a big mistake you don't want to put like any type of alcohol or anything on your face I put alcohol on my face, so that just made my skin worse when I was down there. You can see it. Oh, it's so itchy, and I should not even be rubbing it. I should just pat it on, because I'm really just trying to oh, kill the, the itchiness. And it feels so good, but you know, it's really bad that I'm like rubbing the thing on. I really should just pat the freaking aloe on my face and just call it a day. So that's what I'm gonna do. All right. So this is my room. My bed is a mess. Um, I've been working on my bed. So this is like all my papers from work. I have a computer desk over here, but I don't really ever use it. Um, this is a picture from my mom. It was on her desk. And then this is her booklet. So this is one of the last pictures that she sent me um because she had went natural and she had um yeah she was you know proud of her little afro that she had so that's that you know i have a video of a room tour <laughs> so my suitcase is still on the floor this is all the dirty clothes um my closet is not that bad but you know this is my room so, um, yeah, so comment down below everybody and tell me how you guys are, are you working, um, how are you dealing with, um, staying at home? So for me, I usually, I'm a homebody, so this really doesn't bother me. You know, sometimes I like to go watch a movie, um, that's about it. Probably go get something to eat. Um, but for me, you know, staying at home is... I'm getting used to, you know, working at home. Sometimes I just sit in my bed and work from my bed. Versus going to sit on my um, my desk. Because um, just it's hard to wake up. It's hard to wake up in the morning sometimes, you know. Um, I feel like I'm getting, you know... The things that I need to get done for work, you know, when you're in the office, it's like you're consumed with meetings all day and phone calls. And I did not forward my work number to my cell phone. I'm so glad I didn't do that, um, even though they told us to. Um, I just feel like you get more emails, though. That's the only thing. People sent out so many fucking emails I don't know if people think that because they send out an email, that means you're doing work. That really don't mean you're doing work. You're just sending an email. And I think people like to validate that they're doing work by, you know, sending emails. And emails are, you know, useful for following up and stuff. But I, I prefer, like, actual conversation. So... I think it's very important during these times, if people are teleworking, to pick up the phone, kind of minimize the use of emails and pick up the phone and um, communicate with people because I think it's a better way of communicating. Um, you know, people go back and forth with emails and I just feel like it's just so much simpler to pick up the phone and then you can send an email after, you know, you have that discussion per hour discussion to have a document of what 
what you guys discussed or what you need done. So, yeah, that's it for my life update. Um, hopefully I post this video today. Um, that's it. Yeah, so um, thank you guys for watching my videos. Um, I know I haven't posted videos in a long time. And I really don't like to do vlogs, like I said, because of my um, skin condition. You know, sometimes um, I'm saying a lot of arms too. I just don't, I don't like my face in the camera because I don't, I'm not confident with my skin and I don't wear makeup and I mean I have some makeup that I bought I had bought my mom some like um Fenty Rihanna type I don't know if it's called Fenty but Rihanna um makeup and stuff because she had asked me to send her some um and I did but um I I brought it back with me because she never really it looked like she opened it but um I don't know if it was a good match because I, I ordered it online and I, I kind of assessed the color by taking like the quiz. But when I put it on my skin, it looked like it was too light. But then again, I had went to the beach. And I got sunburn. So, you know, it could have been a match. I don't know. But, um... So one of the videos that I took while I was down there, uh, well, I'll share that in, in the video of her, her service or whenever I, I decide to post it. So, I don't have anything to say. So I just want you guys to comment down below. Let me know how you guys are dealing with the pandemic are you working i know a lot of people you know are out of jobs and i'm totally blessed and um my brother is as well that we still um have the opportunity to get a paycheck because we know a lot of people are not getting paid so for me um the only issue that i have is my kids they're not you know, doing their schoolwork like they should. And um, they're just sleeping in. Um, and then they get up, you know, late during the day. And they, they do the work, but um, the schools are now holding, like, virtual, like, discussions. And they should be joining them, I guess. You know, you I guess they want to make sure that people are actually following a schedule and doing their work. And I think it's very important that if you are you know, at home, and if you have kids, it's important to have a schedule. But it's hard for me to work because I have to work. Um, I don't have to, but I choose to work. <coughs> and it's hard for me to um, make sure that they're doing their work. You know, I try to wake them up, but at the same time, to me, they're old enough to take the responsibility and take initiative. I don't want to baby my kids and I don't baby my kids at all. And some people might think that that's um, a harsh approach, but if you continue to baby your kids, um, you're gonna be taking care of them for the rest of your life. There are people that are over 60 years old still working because they they claim that they their kids in college, some of them paying the rent for the kids, you know? And I'm not going to be like that. You know, I worked hard. And um, I pushed myself in my career so I could be able to support my mother. Um, and, you know, now she's gone. And she was like my motivation to all my success in my career. And I'm probably going to start crying. So I'm going to sign off.